Hi! Previously, I've spoken about gene editing, in particular the CRISPR method, how it works, some of the diseases we could use it against, and one of its main limitations. Check out my last two videos for a rundown on those things. Today, I'm going to address one of the biggest fears that CRISPR raises, and that's that designer babies are right around the corner. Designer babies around the corner legit sounds like a horror film tile. <laughs> Sophie, what is it? What's wrong? It's a baby and it's wearing Chanel. Okay, so this is a highly debated and complicated possibility that I'm gonna try and just briefly go over. Some people are anxious that if we start changing DNA, people are gonna start selecting what they want their children to look like and be like. I think people kind of imagine it like the character creation at the beginning of a video game, where one day you'll be able to select your child's hair color and face shape and level of intelligence and swordsmanship. To be honest, before I started researching for this video, I thought we were miles away from producing any sort of genetically modified designer children. But various sources have actually shown me that it's a pretty real possibility. Here's the rundown. The first thing worth mentioning is that genes are hella complicated. I know at school you might have got taught, oh, you've got a gene for hair colour and a gene for eye colour, but in reality, it's a lot more complicated than that. And if, for example, you wanted your kid to be good at art, it definitely wouldn't be as easy as taking out a not good at art gene and putting in a Picasso or a Botticelli gene, depending on your preference for obscure or renaissance. <laughs> Why, what a delightful piece. Who painted it? Oh well, my daughter did it. Oh. From the womb. Secondly, in order to create changes that are in every single one of your cells, the change needs to be made at the level of the embryo. This is because it's these embryo cells that divide to become your whole body. Put this in combination with CRISPR's lack of reliability, and it means you'd have to edit around 20 embryos just to hopefully get the version that you want. It's safe to say this raises a few ethical questions. But if the ethical decisions of the powers in control, such as the scientists, the companies that fund them, or the governments that make regulations on the like, don't halt this genetically engineered children idea, then at the moment, the technology itself is a main stumbling block. Although, Guo Ping Feng, who's a biologist who uses CRISPR in his research, reckons that the first genetically modified humans are about 15 to 20 years away. I mean, really, that isn't even that far. Saying that, some researchers in China have already given genetically modifying embryos a go. I think we just need to like press pause and slow down and kind of recognize what we're doing. Look around, look around at what the hell we're doing with science right now. Look around, look around, just slow the heck down, slow the heck down. But also, I feel like some researchers are jumping the gun in a huge way. From what I was reading and watching, there were some various things on improving the intelligence of our species. But how can you improve the intelligence of our species? species with genetic engineering when you don't even know what genes cause intelligence, if any. Making your child smarter, it wouldn't be a case of taking out a not smart gene and putting in a genius gene. Genius. <laughs> if you want to watch more on this topic, in the description below, I'm going to put a link to a TED talk by a guy called Paul Knopfler. It's eerie and bizarre and really cool, and it's all about the future of genetically engineered children. But you know, I think it's important to not let all this science fiction like designer baby stuff distract from all the good that CRISPR could potentially be doing against diseases such as muscular dystrophy or cancer, as I mentioned in my last video. Plug for my previous video, go watch it if you haven't watched it yet. And that's me rounding up for another video. Thank you again for watching. Hit me up if you have any questions, subscribe if you like, tweet me if you want, just get in contact, you know? Don't leave me out in the cold. Left outside alone, and it's cold in here. And remember, keep asking questions. And here's my by no means extensive summary. Give it a pause and give it a read if that's what you're into. <sighs> okay. Don't halt this genetically engineered children, 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 children. Hi, I'm a 17 year old scene kid and I just want you to know that there's more of me than meets the eye. So I know you can meet my eye because I've got a massive fringe over my face, but if you saw into my eyes, you could see into my soul. But I don't want you to see my soul. <laughs>